Greetings from Lviv. It's Saturday evening. Uh, I'm walking around the center. The weather is uh, not so bright and sunny as it was uh, in summer. So I decided to pull up my videos from Hawaii and will take you, take you back to something sunny and fun. And I want to make this video about um, how Ukraine and Hawaii is similar. It's a thing that washes your feet off to the sand in the beach. Sand. Before I start, uh, what's going on in Ukraine? There's informational si uh, silence in Ukraine, so we do not really discuss what's going on uh, in the East. Uh, only uh, we can discuss information that's uh, publicly announced by the government, and we are being silent because we do not want to <laughs> discuss the details of the counter-offensive. Two days ago, uh, I. Iranian drone was shut down in uh, Lviv and it was 5 a.m. We had blazing siren, but uh, in 30 minutes the siren uh, stopped and it was shut down, which is really good news for us. Surprisingly, we had electricity this week in Lviv. We were able to function properly, but we are still encouraged to conserve uh, energy. Kyiv basically has no electricity. I was watching the news about how the Russians were running from the east as Ukrainians were advancing. They were actually really surprised that Russians just, you could tell that they left everything and just ran. So let's talk about the similarities between Hawaii and Ukraine. First of all, it's obvious, what I want to discuss is, um, maybe you don't, don't know it, but uh, Ukra Ukrainian women, uh, we love flowers and we have floral motifs in our cross-stitched uh, uh, traditional clothes and women they love flowers and they always take photos of flowers and also you know in Hawaii uh, you have the most beautiful trees with amazing flowers and uh, they are used as decoration and it's uh, very much a symbol of Hawaii so this is how we are similar uh, another way we are similar is a diverse architecture influenced by different historical periods that Hawaii and Ukraine had. For example, in Hawaii you have the traditional huts, uh, really old, and also in Ukraine you can see them in open-air museum of traditional Ukrainian huts. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you can uh, see it here and see how we lived in ancient times. Then, in Hawaii, the architecture changed depending on, um, for example, the period of missionaries, of uh, sugarcane plantations and people coming from all over the world to work on them. By the way, we have Ukrainians also working on plantations in Hawaii. And on that topic, Vitaly Klitschko has his favorite place in Hawaii, where he went. What I personally like the most is architectural style of plantation periods. So, also in Ukraine, we have a different architecture uh, that is influenced by different historical periods. So, we have here... Um, architecture from the Polish and Austrian periods and we have architecture from Soviet Union period which is very different and we have now modern buildings uh, outside of the center other ways we are similar uh, with Hawaii which is very special something you would like is openness to tourists and genuinely um, asking them questions and uh, wanting to know about them and actually going extra mile for them for example in Hawaii I really wanted to try wok uh, right so it's a fish tuna fish uh, and uh, I went to a supermarket and there were different uh, ways of preparing it uh, and so there was a man behind me and I asked what is the best 
and he actually bought sample of diff of this different uh, food. Let me try it, and then uh, he said, "Then order this that you like the most." When we took Uber, uh, the driver was. Uh, asking us where we are from and had a genuine conversation with us in Hawaii uh, and also the, the Uber driver who took us to uh, to the airport he uh, he sang songs for us and played oh this that was really amazing bird called Ulili A is a Hawaiian bird it's a sand tattler and it and when I do my solo it's it's, it's mimicking the feet of the sand tattler on, on the beach running around you know And also Ukrainians, we want to meet uh, foreigners and we want to know about them. I, I came to have some coffee. I, actually, I wanted to ask you, can you help me? And if you have been to Ukraine, can you tell me if Ukrainians went extra mile for you, to help you, or to get to know you better? And another thing I wanted to uh, show you was that, um, actually, I got the book that I uh, was announcing on the previous video. Uh, my friend, uh, she, is, she published a book uh, about um, Iraq. Uh, actually, it's about Kurdish population in Iraq uh, and uh, the victims of ISIS. It was, um, for example, this is the pictures in the back. Uh, so her name is Ivanka Rudokevich. And, and there are also Lucia Padula and Ashley Davis who helped her publish this book. And it was uh, sponsored by Step In Organization. By the way, Step In Organization now is in Ukraine helping refugees in uh, Dnipro. So I'm very excited to read it, and I'm gonna put link below where you can buy this book. I could not buy it in Ukraine. She had to. Sh her parents shipped it for me, uh, but you can buy it overseas. It's priceless. I haven't read it, but I know her and I know this organization. Another thing I've noticed is that we produce our own... Uh, we, we have very good production uh, of crops. So we produce wheat, as you know. Uh, we sell it uh, overseas to Africa. And by the way, uh, Russia tried to sink our grain deal, but we continue selling, selling wheat uh, without Russia. So we were really worried that we will lose this export and uh, our currency will crash further. Uh, but we are, uh, our uh, president and government uh, actually <laughs> found a way out, uh, they are taking chance and they are still exporting, regardless of Russia uh, trying to block it. So uh, Hawaii also exports uh, crops, uh, sugarcane, pineapple is very famous for that, but also many other things. Uh, I tried chocolate, I know there is a chocolate farm on, on the island that I visited, uh, also coffee, really cool. Uh, so they are working really hard. To produce their own uh, goods to sell them and to to uh, diversify their economy so they would uh, be more than just a tourist destination and lastly I will tell you another thing we are similar to Hawaii uh, in a, in a, it's um, I noticed in Hawaii from the brief research I from the research I did is that they had kings and monarchy that took very good care of the people. Well, uh, they united the islands under one rule. They decided uh, to abolish their religion, which was really a heavy burden on people. 
so they made decision to improve the lives of Hawaii and also we had such uh, good rulers and we have one now Zelensky he's a good ruler we are really blessed and also in Lviv we had uh, the founder of the city Korol Danilo Halitsky he you can feel it he took care of the city and he took care of the well-being of people uh, so I visited a museum I uh, saw how uh, the nobleman and princesses and princess lived and they have uh, I noticed I saw very beautiful uh, fashionable women and I saw their charity projects so this is uh, really awesome how they took care of their people uh, and I feel we are very, we're very lucky with that also So thank you for your support, for your prayers. Again, greetings from Lviv. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. Bye.